Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be walking through how to solve for a root of a nonlinear equation using Newton's method in Microsoft Excel. As we went through in the previous video, Newton's method is an open root finding method for nonlinear functions, meaning that we pick an initial x value and then we iteratively solve for our root from that point. I will leave a link in the description below on the theory and procedure for Newton's method in the description. All right, so we are told to solve for the rightmost root of this function here, f of x is equal to x squared minus two through 10 iterations of Newton's method. So Newton's method in Excel is relatively easy to implement. The first thing that we can do in Newton's method is simply evaluate the derivative of our function, which I've already done here. And you can see this in the top right corner. Now let's create four headers here. Let's call our first column iteration. And this will just be an easy way to quickly tell us which iteration we are currently on. Secondly, let's add x comma current. This is going to be our current x value guess at this iteration. In the third column, let's evaluate our function at the current x value. Be sure to select the current x value cell for all of your inputs to x within your function. This will ensure that your formula works as we increase our iterations here shortly. In the next and final column, we just need to repeat the previous evaluation step, except now we are using the derivative of our function of interest. So let's just do that now. All right, so now we can fill in this row here using our initial x guess. Let's just use two. So we put that in our initial iteration zero current value of x. And as you can see here, the rest of the columns update with that input. Now to find our next value of x, we need to use the following formula which was derived in our Newton's method theory and procedure video. The idea here is that we use a first order Taylor series expansion to find where our tangent line crosses the x axis. So as this newly found x term is replacing our previous iterations x value guess, we can put this in iteration one's current x value. Now we need to do is drag down these few columns and we can validate that our answer is not diverging. Meaning that we can see that our current x value is trending towards very similar values and it is not running away from itself. If these numbers were getting significantly larger or changing in different ways, then we could probably assume that our function is diverging, which means we will never get to a proper answer and we need a better starting guess. As you can see here, our answer is actually converging quickly and very well. If your answer is diverging, I highly recommend that you plot your function of interest and choose a better starting guess. However, this will not fix everything as certain functions, like a step function, cannot be used in Newton's method, like we discussed in the previous theory video. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of how we can solve a problem using Newton's method in Excel. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our Patreon page to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.